It's super important for you to prototype and test out any e-learning module or any interactive piece of work that you're going to have users mess around with later or experience later. We did this with the escape room. This is one of the first iterations with the escape room and I had several people testing this out. We actually got a lot of the animations down super cute when you click to the left and to the right, you can see that he actually turns in that direction like he's actually sliding. That took a lot of work. And you can see that when he stops, he kind of wiggles around. Really, really cool animations here as he kind of moves around. And we put a lot of work into this, but what we decided or what we discovered was as people are doing this, first, you've got this limited field of what you can see, which is on the outsides of this flame character. The second thing that we discovered is you've got this area here, and then when you click onto the other side, now you have this area. Well, you, your I followed him going in this direction. However, it's really hard to make out what happens in the middle. So our users would have been very frustrated as they were trying to gather clues from this background. So even though this was executed, I feel like in a great way, and we put in a lot of work in this whole animation, it's good not to be married to it because in the end, we moved to this drag and drop or this kind of illuminated field here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And you can see that, let's give us a little bit better of a view here. There we go. But you can see as you move this character around, you can kind of inspect that background to add that layer of, of difficulty. Now we have him panicking after about 10 seconds to where you want to drop him to kind of reset that animation. So we still have a little level of difficulty in there, but it's gonna make it a little bit more entertaining and a lot less frustrating for the user as they go through and utilize this piece. Stay tuned for more videos on how I actually got the mechanics to work on dragging and dropping and going through, making him a little bit more flawless and being able to move them around quickly. Sorry if that's making you sick. And then also I'm going to do a video here in a little while of how to do this click and drag uh, to where he actually changes animations sliding either to the left or to the right. That was a fun animation and interaction to put together as well. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.